Ashley from Twinkle and this video sets out to up-level writing by connecting different ideas with the use of connectives or conjunctions. Along the way we get to look at some really exciting resources that you can display around the classroom or your home. Often these two words are used interchangeably. Connectives are a group of words and phrases which quite literally connect, join, two ideas. Many would argue that conjunctions fall under the larger umbrella term of connectives. When children learn to write, they write simple sentences made up of a subject, which is a noun, a verb, and an object. For example, the unicorn galloped towards the light. Well, our subject is our noun, the unicorn, our main verb, galloped, and the object is light. Here we have another simple sentence, We'll link both together using a conjunction. We'll remove the full stop from sentence one, change noun to pronoun with the word it, and reduce I to a lowercase letter as we combine with the conjunction and. And now we have a compound sentence. One sentence made up of two previously simple sentences. So we might join sentences using coordinating conjunctions, words such as and, but, or. Seeking to vary the writing even further, we move on to subordinating clauses using subordinate conjunctions. Because, although, if. When we use these conjunctions at the beginning of a sentence, we will require a comma halfway through. If you clean the dishes, comma, I will be very happy. Once again, that conjunction, that connective, has joined and connected two ideas, two clauses. We've looked at what a connective is, the idea of a conjunction being specific words within that group, and now we move on to adverbs, which can equally join ideas. Firstly, I would like to explain. Secondly, lastly, finally. Connectives can be used in any type of writing, as well as speaking. However, it must be said that some phrases in particular do lend themselves more to storytelling. Suddenly, I opened the door. As quick as a flash, the cat ran through. It really does enhance the atmosphere of a story and how an action is actually carried out. This moves us on to looking at a variety of display options that we have for you here at Twinkle. You can download and print superbly presented connectives to put around your classroom or your house. And these connectives are along the themes of animals, literature, and so on. You may fancy just a very generic speech bubble. Take the Great Pet Sale by Mick Inkpen. A wonderful story full of fantastic illustrations. And here we have resources all around it, such as our connectives on Pets on a Perch to support teaching on the Great Pet Sale. A useful guide page comes with advice on how to print and be aware to print from page two onwards so as not to print that guide page. Click off black and white and I'm also adding different amounts of connectives to each page if I want to stick them inside children's books. Otherwise fill a whole A4 page and display them around the classroom and the home. The more visible this vocabulary is for your children, they can independently slot it into both speaking and writing, and it's always there to refer to at quick hand.